To all those that have served and are no longer with us, I say thank you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for preserving our freedom to allow me to be able to do a show like this, to allow us to have freedom and choices. God bless you all. I give you the love doctor salute to all past members of the military who are no longer with us. Thank you. That's what Memorial Day is all about. It's not about those that are currently serving, but we definitely appreciate it. We at Beer Song of the Day definitely appreciate those that are currently serving, that have served, that are still with us. But Memorial Day is all about those who served and are no longer with us, as Veterans Day is for those that are currently serving and those that are still with us that have served. So yes, it does get confusing. The point is, we thank the troops each and every day. That's how I look at it. Believe me. I'm very thankful for all those folks out there, all those uh, soldiers, all those seamen, all those airmen, all those marines, all those coast guard folks, those that have served. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I cannot say it enough. Um, now, moment of silence, as we did lose a uh, legend of a lady indeed, very famous photographer, also a pinup lady herself, Bunny Yeager. Um, she passed away yesterday at the age of 85, heart failure, lived a good long life. Bunny Yeager, I had the distinct privilege and honor to meet her a few times. I used to go to the annual Playmate, uh, Playboy Playmate conventions in uh, Los Angeles, California, when I was living in California, the land of fruits and nuts, otherwise known as Southern Oregon. Bunny Yeager uh, did a lot of photography. She took a lot of the pictures of the Playmates. She was still shoot, doing photo shoots when I met her. And uh, what an amazing lady she was. Just a real, real nice lady. So definitely uh, sad that she passed away. But she did live a good long life. 85 years old. Moment of silence for Bunny Yeager. Photography legend. And definitely babyrific. All right. Well, folks, today it's it's about remembering. And uh, it's also, still got to do beer and song in a day. We can't have it kick off. Meh, you know. So, I want to um, say hello, everyone. It is indeed Monday. May 26th in the year of our Lord, 2014. How are all you doing out there? I am doing awesome as always. Wicked awesome. Today we got a special treat for you. I'm playing all five songs from all five branches of the military. We're starting off with the Army song. And then we'll bring it into the Navy song, Anchors Away. We'll bring out the Air Force song. Off we go into the Wild Blue Yonder. And then, of course, the Marine song. Oh, yeah. And then the Coast Guard song to finish it off. So we're going to play them all. We're going to um, honor those birthdays out there for today. The We've got the uh, trivia question winner to announce. We've got fan of the week to announce. Yes, I'm doing it on time for a change. And then a couple additional shout outs as well. Now I want to say that house right there, my grandfather built with his hands, 1940. That house. My grandparents lived in for 72 exquisite, wicked, awesome years of marriage. My grandfather, Louis Karras, World War II uh, vet, hero, Purple Heart recipient, Bronze Star recipient, 12th Army Division, U.S. Army, World War II. Um, he is my hero, my grandfather, my mother's father, and I miss him. Born October 13th in the year of our Lord, 1919, passed away at the ripe old age of 93. July, uh, February 2nd, 2013, uh, 71 days later, my grandmother, his better half, my grandmother, Betty Karras, she passed away at the ripe old age of 90. Hey, you know, when one goes, the other one ain't far behind. Now, the Karras brothers, that is my grandfather and his seven other brothers, and they all served their country, all served in uh, battles and wars. All eight of them. It's pretty amazing. 
Those are freedom fighters right there, that Karras family. Those are my heroes. Uh, four World War I, uh, World War II veterans, three Korea conflict veterans, and then my Uncle Teddy, who I know watches this show every day. The youngest of ten kids. He was U.S. Navy in Vietnam. How about that? They're all uh, my grandfather and his older brother, George, U.S. Army. Uh, great Uncle Jimmy. Coast Guard, Uncle Peter, Great Uncle Peter, U.S. Army, um, Great Uncle John, U.S. Army Korea, Great Uncle Paul, U.S. Army Korea, um, Great Uncle Petrus, um, U.S. Navy Korea, and of course my Great Uncle Teddy, U.S. Navy Vietnam. My father um, served U.S. Marine Corps. Vietnam, Force Recon, amazing stuff. But there's my grandparents' uh, gravestone together. Now it says on there, I know it's hard to read, a great love affair forever. Boy, you ain't lying. And uh, that's where they rest, and we know they're in a better place. So, yep. Awesome stuff. Good long life for those two. Definitely sorely missed, but we will never forget them, and we love them very much, as you can tell there. There they are. Oh, yes. And Delilah was a lot younger back then. Oh, yes, she was. So there you go. There we go. There we go. All right, all right, all right. Let's get pressing on with um, some birthdays for today, May 26th in the year of our Lord, 2014. And before we do that, I have failed to mention our unofficial sponsor of today's show. Well, we better get cracking on that one, shall we? There we go. My lovely lady friend, Sarah Milligan, former... Um, Lady admin of the show, Say Baby, and her wonderful, wonderful business, Scentsy Candles. Let's go wickless and flameless. Mm -hmm. We got a lot of those in the house. Let's go wickless and flameless. Folks, if you want some good gift ideas, hey, Father's Day is coming up. Remember that. And us, us men, we like candles too. Okay? Well, I hooked up the love goddess with uh, some awesome stuff. So let's go wickless and flameless. Get in on the action. And uh, Sarah Milligan living in Hawaii with the wonderful lesser half Matt and their three kids. Awesome stuff right there. Hell yeah! So, I think it's time to bring out an American icon classic beer. Yingling! The oldest brewery in the United States of America since 1829. Yingling Porter. Because my good friend Rhonda Ridland, I told you I was going to be drinking a uh, dark beer on today's show. You and I like our dark beers. We like good beers. Yingling Porter. 5%, normal strength beer. Hey, love it, love it, love it. Pottsville, Pennsylvania. I know I used this one on uh, yesterday's show, but you know what? It's all about remembrance. It's about, all about thanking our great veterans as they rest in peace. There you go. Probably opening up brass prop technique. Ooh, almost hurt myself on that one. <laughs> 45 to grand right in the big assumption that brass wherever the keyboard system is that damn good haven't spilled drop yet never have never will although i am suffering from a major headache right now that's not going to stop me from recording the special memorial day edition of the show uh -uh. no way baby no way cheer the best all of you pros they say in germany goodbye as they say in japan mm. oh wow straight solid a on this here beer Awesome stuff right here. Hmm. All right. Before I get to the birthdays, a very, very special shout out to my good friend Gail Riggs, the wicked awesome mom of my good friend, fellow Masonic brother, and uh, creator of the Baron Song of the Day uh, Facebook page, my man Justin Dimmitt. His wicked awesome mom, Gail Riggs. Yeah, baby. That's right, sweetheart. Talking about you, the wicked awesome mom indeed. Stunningly gorgeous, total sweetheart. And oh, by the way, she sent me this here hat for free. Thank you so much, Gail. God bless you. Wicked awesome. I'll give you a love doctor salute for that. Oh, hell yeah. America. Damn right. Cheers and beers, Gail. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate this here wicked awesome hat. America indeed. Mighty proud. Proud to be an American. Hey, I'm even representing America's baseball team, the Boston Red Sox. That's right. Remember, 
Without Massachusetts, there wouldn't even be a United States of America. Why? That's where the revolution started, baby. Mm hmm. Don't forget that. All right. So we got a plethora of birthdays today, and right off the bat, this is a very special birthday announcement. Because this lovely lady, Diane Pelkey, a real sweetheart of a lady, and by the way, she got the trivia question right. So not only is it her birthday, she got the trivia question too. Let's go ahead and draw out the trivia question now. What was the original name of Memorial Day? Well, our good friend Diane Pelkey, birthday girl, happy birthday to you, Diane. Wicked awesome job. You said, I think it was Decoration Day. Well, hot diggity dog damn, you nailed it. Wicked awesome job, Diane. A big love, Dr. Salute to you. And happy birthday to you. Hope you're doing well. Hope you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. And a huge, hearty, phenomenal cheers and beers to you. Well done, my friend. Well done. Ah, mm. I do want to mention my good friend, Matt Mad Dog Becker. This guy is a great leader of men, women, and it's I know from jolly old England. Uh, former real hunk of the day on Beer and Song of the Day, I might add. And the guy's living in Nebraska, the cornholer state. A good state indeed, but he's a wicked hardcore Illinois man, Chicago man. Eating, uh, he's cooking some sausage, as he always calls it. Stop, Bears. Stop, Bears. Mm-hmm. Mad Dog, you said that you thought it was called Remembrance Day, but you may be thinking of one of those holidays in jolly old England. Well, you know, it's funny, because Re Remembrance Day is actually... Referring to Veterans Day. That's right. Or as we know it originally as Armistice Day. November 11th in the year of the 1918. The day that World War I ended. Veterans Day was born. And that is the one where we celebrate those that are serving all over the world. And thank you for your service and sacrifice. Much appreciated. Mad Dog, you're an awesome guy. An awesome friend. God bless you, man. And hey, give me a big hearty cheers and beers. Because you're the one... I saw your post earlier today and I was blown away and you're right it is all about those that have served that are no longer with us that's what memorial day is all about it's not about barbecues and beer drinking it's not about those that are currently serving although we're always about the veterans out there in the world aren't we oh absolutely but today is a day to remember those from the past that have served and with that i say cheers and beers to all of them and uh much respect Mm. But see, it shouldn't be just one day for that. We should pause and reflect every day. Give give our Lord or whoever you believe in the thanks each and every day for life itself and to enjoy life. Hell yeah. If the day ends in a Y, it's a wicked awesome day. Period. Dot. End of freaking story. All right, let's get to those birthdays, shall we? Show's going longer than I wanted, but that's all right. Hey. Mama's got egg rolls cooked. Mmm, chicken egg rolls. Very interesting. With the uh, rice noodles. Oh, man, oh, man. God, that woman's amazing. All right. Lots of birthdays for today, like my good friend Don Ahmed. Matthew Wars guy, a great man indeed. Don, happy birthday to you. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Haven't heard from you in a little bit. Love to hear from you, man. Always help me out on the Mafia Wars. Much appreciated. And Don... Have a wicked awesome day. Happy birthday to you. Celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and beers. Next on the list, my man Randy Thrower. A badass crew dog. Great leader of men, women, and a that I know from jolly old England. Living in South Carolina. Making lots of money. Hell yeah. That's right. Randy, awesome guy. Miss working with you. Brother, happy birthday to you. You still look like you're less than 30 years old. It's insane in the membrane. Hey, those who enjoy life, age well. Randy, my man, hope you have a wicked awesome day. Party hard and enjoy. Celebrate like it's 1969. Minus the acid. Cheers and beers to you. Next on the list, my man Dick Johnstone. Mafia Wars guy. Badass. Legend. Dick Johnstone. Tough guy. Oh, yeah. Recent addition to the crew. Dick, happy birthday to you. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Always appreciate the help from you. Hell yeah. And brother, hope you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and beers. Mm. And then my man, Don Potter. Born the exact same month, day, and year as Dick Johnstone. And another great Mafia Wars legend. I've had Don 
Potter in my crew for a long time. Hell yeah, teamwork makes the dream work, right? Damn right. Hey, good hearing from you today, and happy birthday to you, and I hope you're having a wicked awesome day. Brother, celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and beers. Freedom, baby. Freedom. Let's go whack some schmucks and schmuckettes, shall we? Hell yeah. All right. Next on the list, my man Chris McMurray. Another Mafia Wars legend. A recent addition to the crew. Chris, how you doing? Hope you're doing well and happy birthday to you. Hope you're celebrating it well. Hope you're eating some great food. Hope you're pausing and reflecting on those that gave us that freedom to do so. I know I do every day and I'm thankful for it. Chris, my friend, happy birthday. Have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and bears. Ah, next on the list. I knew her as Heather Way originally. A real sweetheart of a lady. Heather Boyle. <coughs> Heather, happy birthday to you. Like I'd forget. I've only had your birthday memorized for, oh my goodness, let's see. Uh, hmm. Oh, 25 years. That's right. Uh-oh. Well, Heather, a fine saying graduate of Martha's Vineyard Beach High School class of 1993. Not as good as 91, where I graduated with your wicked awesome sister, Rachel. Mm-hmm. But a pretty damn good class indeed. Heather, happy birthday to you, and how you doing? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're enjoying the show, and I hope your birthday's been phenomenal. And you celebrate well and enjoy. Hell yeah! Cheers and beers to you, and hope you enjoy the show. I haven't heard from you in a while. I'd love to hear from you, Heather. So drop me a line. Let me know how life's treating you, will ya? Hell yeah. <laughs> Squeeze me. All right, next on the list, my man Steve Foggin, F-O-G-G-O-N. Hey, here we go. Here's a big milestone birthday right here. Steve, welcome to the new age bracket, a recent addition to the Mafia Wars crew. Oh, yeah. And Steve, my friend, happy milestone birthday. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're enjoying it. Hope you have a wicked awesome day. Steve, celebrate well and enjoy. And brother, happy milestone birthday. Cheers and beers to you. And the final birthday of the day goes to a badass GCS posse member. Got God I know from jolly old England. My man, Dave Horn. David Horn, a legend of a man indeed. A quiet man and a badass man. Hard working man. Dave, how you doing, man? Hope you're doing well. I haven't heard from you in a while, man. No need to be so quiet. Drop me a line. Let me know how life's treating you. Definitely missed the hell out of you. Definitely missed working with you. And Dave, hope you have a wicked awesome day. Happy birthday. Celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and beers. All right. So, yeah. You know what? It's time to bring out that Navy song, isn't it? Oh, yes, it is. Here we go. Anchors away. Mm -hmm. First, we hooked up the Army. Now, it's time to hook up the Navy. And let's give it. Some more shout outs real quick. We've got our fan of the week announcement. And that is my good friend. We got a new face for the uh, album. He shared a, he didn't share the show, but what he's done in the past week is as I post up a picture of the baby of the day or the hunk of the day or the beer of the day, he shared a whole bunch of those to his friends, bringing new viewers. To our Baron Song of the Day Facebook page. We're up to 1,170 likes. And I want to thank you, the Pride of India. My man, Lanu Longchari Longchari. Brother, always great hearing from you. Him and I chatted up fairly often. Just a real nice guy, an awesome guy indeed. And Lanu, you're going to need to add more pictures of yourself on your uh, Facebook page. You know why? Because if you win Fan of the Week again, I'm going to need new uh, pictures. So in the meantime, I want to give you a love, Dr. Salute. Wicked awesome job. Thank you for the support. You support like a double D bra. A do wire. That support, my man. And Lanu, my friend. Cheers and beers to you. And hope you enjoy the show. Congratulations. Fan of the week. Huge honor. And folks, we've been doing fan of the week for a year now. He is fan of the week number the 52nd week of fan of the week. Well done, my friend. Well done. 
Alright, I want to give a shout out to a man I haven't heard from in a long time. It's been a few years. A great leader of men, women, and it's an engine mechanic, an awesome guy, my man, Nate Burleson. Dude, good hearing from you. I had no idea you were on the old Facebook. So great hearing from you. Living in England still awesome stuff, man. Do I miss it over there? But I'm living life down in your home state down here. Yeah, Texas. Otherwise known as Southern Oklahoma. That's the same damn state, right, Nate? I mean, come on, man. Nate, I miss you, brother. Hope you're doing well. Great hearing from you. Have a wicked awesome day. This is what I do every day. This is my after work stress relief, my beer and song of the day. It's all about good beer, good time, good friends. Lots of fun. Great music. Hell yeah. So I'm talking to Boot. You know what I'm saying, eh? That's what I'm talking to Boot. Oh, Canada. Indeed, you got to give us a love to our neighbors up north as well. Absolutely. Canadians. They're awesome. Except for the Montreal Canadians of hockey. Good. They're down three games to one to the, rate, to the uh, New York Rangers. Hell yeah. Go Rangers. Whoop those Montreal Canadians ass, eh? That's what I'm saying. Cheers the Bears, Nate. Hope you enjoy the show. All right. So with that said, um, did we get all the shout-outs? I, by golly, we show sure enough didn't do that. Hell yeah. All right. Wow, 22 and a half minutes already? Good. Well, I guess this show ain't going to be under 30 minutes like I wanted it to be. We got a lot of birthdays for today, but we've also got to unleash our hunk of the day. And we're going to bring out the next branch of the military's famous song, Wild Blue Yonder, United States Air Force. Hell yeah! Go Air Force! As we bring out our hunk of the day, why not a legend of a man, a phenomenal president of the United States of America, a phenomenal actor, phenomenal governor, a true patriot, a World War II veteran, Ronald Reagan! Lived to be 93 years old, just like my grandfather. What a legend this man was. Ronald Reagan, whether you love him or not, this guy was an American patriot. I think he was a fantastic president in an era that we needed him. You didn't see Libya messing with us, huh? You didn't see the Russians messing with us. Well, oh, Ronnie Reagan didn't mess around. Tough as nails. This man just, just crushed the Cold War that existed for over 30 years. Over 40 years, and old Ronnie Reagan took care of that Cold War, whooped its ass. For that, I give a love doctor salute. Ronald Reagan, what an American, what a patriot. Oh, and originally from Illinois. There you go, Mad Dog, from your home state, brother. I know what you're thinking. Thumbs up, you're damn right, brother. America. What a hunk of the day. Ronald Reagan. Gotta love it. A dapper man in his day, too, you know. Served this country well. There you go. Ronald Reagan speaks out against socialized medicine. I'm not trying to send a message, but it's an interesting one. Hmm. Something that'll make you think, you know? Just saying. I don't get political on beer and song of the day if that ain't my style. I'm all about sports. Red Sox, Patriots, Celtics, and Bruins, baby. Look at this. A radio man at one time, too. WHO Radio, back in like 1934, I believe. 34 to 36, somewhere around that era. I think it was from 1934 to 37. Oh, look at that! Chesterfield cigarettes. <laughs> oh, Ronnie Reagan. Slam lungs, baby. Back in those days, everybody did. That's just the way it was. Hey, he lived to be 93, so... 
Don't think smoking affected him. Sadly, it was Alzheimer's disease that uh, ended up killing him. Alzheimer's is a cruel, cruel disease that no one should have to endure. You know, his wonderful better half, Nancy Reagan, is 93 years old now, or she will be on July 6th. And she's still going strong. Amazing lady indeed. Hell of a first lady, too. And a great spouse. And she was a great caretaker for the late, great Ronnie Reagan. What an amazing lady. Oh, look at that, life guys. He was always about saving lives. Nothing new there. That's an old picture. Ronald Reagan, I mean, he couldn't have been more than 25 years old there. I mean, that's, that's like late 20s, early 30s. And there it is. That's, I believe that, that is the last picture we've got of the late, great Ronald Reagan. Him and his wonderful, better half, Nancy Reagan. Awesome stuff. He looks so young for his age, too. He aged so well. Man. You know, a lot of birthdays, like the late, great John Wayne. Now, there's Americana at, at its finest. John Wayne, born this day, 1907, passed away in 1979. Uh, Lenny Kravitz, milestone birthday for him. How about that? Lenny Kravitz, 50 years old today. Unbelievable. Um, Helena Bonham Carter, actress, 48 years old today. Stevie Nicks, oh, the babe with the boobs from Fleetwood Mac. Real hottie. Oh, yeah, 66 years old today and an incredible singer she is still. Um, Miles Davis, one of the greatest Jazz legends of all time, born this day, 1926, passed away in 1991 at the age of 64. Sally Ride, second, oh, was she the, oh, first American uh, female astronaut in space. Sally Ride, born this day, 1951, passed away much too young in 2012. Uh, Brandy Cyrus, the not-so-messed-up-in-the-head half-sister of Miley Cyrus. Brandy Cyrus is definitely hotter and still looks hot. And 27 years old today. And we don't hear anything negative about her. Hey, Miley, maybe you should take after your half-sister, Brandy. At least she's not as messed up as a football bat like you are. Uh, Jay Silverheels. Oh, Lone, Lone Ranger and Tonto. Tonto, Jay Silverheels. Born this day, 1912. Passed away in 1980. Uh, James Arness. Gunsmoke for 20 seasons. Great TV show. James R. N. S. born this day, 1923, passed away 2011. Hank Williams Jr., yeehaw, country singer. 65 years old today, milestone birthday for him. He's a senior citizen, as is Philip Michael Thomas. Remember him? Miami Vice, him and Don Johnson. Wow. Philip Thomas, 65 years old today as well, as is stunningly gorgeous, ageless wonder. I remember her in those 70s black exploitation movies. I'll tell you what, this woman you didn't mess with. Pam Greer, from those women in prison movies of the early 70s with Roger Corman films to Coffee, Sheba, Jackie Brown in 1989. Oh, Pam Greer, a legendary lady. Wonderful, wonderful African-American actress that really, really busted down some racial barriers. Pam Greer, 65 and still wicked fine. And nobody messed with her. Uh, Matt Stone, hey, Trey Parker and Matt Stone, South Park, I can't believe that show's still going strong. Matt Stone, 43 years old today. How about Peggy Lee, phenomenal singer from the World War II era. Wonderful singer, actress. Uh, Peggy Lee, born in 1920, passed away in 2002 at the age of 81. Al Jolson, very famous singer and early actor. In fact, he was in the first uh, full feature sound movie from 1927, The Jazz Singer. Al Jolson, born this day in 1886, passed away in 1950. Ashley Mazzaro, <whistles> WWE hottie diva wrestler. She's 35 and wicked fine. Uh, Peter Cushing, oh, actor in some of those great uh, horror films of the 50s and 60s. Peter Cushing, born this day in 1913, passed away in 1994. Brent Musburger, sports reporter for over 40 years, a legend indeed, 75 years old today. I'll drink to that. Um, Bobcat Goldthwait. <laughs> he looks a lot different than he used to. Uh, Bobcat, loud comedian, hilarious, 52 years old today. How about uh, Dr. Jack Kevorkian, <laughs> the suicide doctor. Born this day in 1928, passed away in 2011. Um, uh, Masahir, Masaharu Marimoto. 
phenomenal um oh movie director i believe i can't remember i should have written it down uh 59 years old today jay feely nfl um player football player mm -hmm. oh he's kicker isn't he or is he the quarterback i can't never remember oh aj feely's the uh aj feely's the um quarterback and uh jay feely's the kicker uh great nfl kicker 38 years old today and then of course for those detroit tigers fans out there and Atlanta Brave fans. Daryl Evans hit over 400 home runs in his career. I remember him playing for so many years. He was with those, um, <clears throat> excuse me, Detroit Tigers World Series champions of 1985. Daryl Evans, born this day, 1947. Lots of birthdays today. There you go. I'll drink to that. All right, we're going to feature the last two military songs. And, folks, I got something very special to unleash. I babe of the day number eight hundred. Wow, eight hundred babes of the day on beer and song of the day. This is huge, and I think it's only fitting we featured her twice before. She's a former fan of the week winner. She's a former real babe of the day twice, three times a chime. We got to go with it. She's also our lady admin, the pride of Maryland, Gidget Kelly Floyd. Stunningly gorgeous sweetheart and our lady admin Kelly. I want to thank you for stepping up and say yeah, let's do it as we bring out the US Marine Corps hymn Kelly Floyd oh clavage French for cleavage what a lovely smile on her folks It's hard to believe but it's true. She is single People are stuck on stupid like me. She should have been born in 1938 and graduated in 56 see we love our uh, 50s era the cars are better, the music was better, <clears throat> and you still only needed one income to survive. Not so much nowadays. Prom date, yeah baby. From the halls of Montezuma to the shores of Tripoli, damn right. She knows all about good beer drinking. So do her friends. Awesome stuff. What a smile. From cute baby to cute babe. Hell yeah. Kelly Floyd, Gidget. I'm giving you the love doctor salute. Thank you for your support. You definitely support like a double D bra. Underwire. It's a sweet and innocent old school style romance. Yeah, baby. That's an American legend right there. The amazing Kelly Floyd. Our babe of the day. Ooh la la. Dunkin' Donuts, baby. I'm jealous. Kelly, I'm jealous. Look at those sunglasses. I'm representing 60s style. Representing 50s, 60s right there, you know. Digging it. Digging it, digging it, digging it. Oh, I sure. It's so cute. Beer fairy, damn right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Listen up to the music. That's what she's saying. Shh. Her and her wonderful daughter Becky. Hey, they spent the whole weekend together, hanging out, having fun, great times, going all over the place. Way to go! Awesome mom, awesome lady, awesome friend. And looking wicked awesome. Originally from Massachusetts, by the way. That's right. Yeah, baby. Yeah. All right. Got to bring it home with one more branch of the military. How about we honor 
the United States Coast Guard. These poor folks don't get enough respect, but by God, they deserve it. They're like Smith Barney. They make it the old-fashioned way. They earn it. U.S. Coast Guard tribute Semper Paratus, P-A-R-A-T-U-S. Here you go. U.S. Coast Guard, we love you too, baby. Yeehaw, she likes both kinds of music, country and western, y'all. Oh, cleavage, French for cleavage. Mm. Drink up there, Gidget. Yeehaw. Lovely, stunning, and lovely. Hey, look at that dress, will ya? Oh, yeah. I remember when you got that, Gidget. You love it, and rightfully so. Looks fantastic on you. That was weird. Oh, a little risque. Mmm, tan lines. <laughs> Yeehaw. Oh, that's Clevage. Good God, y'all. Just natural hiding, folks. I mean, my God. <laughs> ah, a little seductive, eh? And not the shirt. Got that old school style. I'm digging it. I want that beer there, Gadget. Sweet baby Jesus. Please, please, please. I'm begging you. Send it to me. It's like a feature on the show and give you a love doctor salute for it. Sweet baby Jesus. Quit teasing me. I know it's awesome. I want some. And I haven't heard it yet. Representing them Boston Red Sox, baby. That's all I'm saying. Ravishing in red. The lady in red. Wow. Oh, Dogfish Head Brewery. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Out of Milton, Delaware. Nighttime is the right time to be with the one you love. I got my love goddess. Oh, that is the cutest little hat ever. Beer Fairy Strikes Again. Diggity dog damn. Hey, on this day in 1989, 25 years ago today, Danish Parliament allows legal marriage among homosexuals. That was a landmark decision, a landmark day, and now we are becoming, we are coming to realize, hey, doesn't matter who you love, as long as you're in love and you ain't causing no trouble, should it really matter? My opinion, nah, you know. That's my philosophy, and I'm sticking to it. One more for the road? Mmm, cleavage, French for cleavage. So there you go, the lovely, gorgeous, wicked awesome Gidget Kelly Floyd. Uh, 30 years ago today, here you go, folks. Honestly, in 1985, a Frisbee is kept aloft for 1,672 seconds in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Basically, that's like staying up in the air. For about 27 minutes. Wow! <clears throat> 25 minutes, excuse me. Yeah, 24 minutes and uh, 52 seconds. There you go. Um, on this day in 1978, first legal gambling casino opens in Atlantic City, New Jersey. That's right, the pie in New York that nobody wanted. Hey, give you a reason to go to Jersey, right? Mm -hmm. On this day in 1977, here you go. Some of you actually remember this one. Big day, May 26, 1977. The movie Star Wars debuts. On this day in 1966, Guyana, formerly known as British Guyana, declares independence from the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Happy Independence Day, Guyana. Way to go. 
On his day in 1959, this is a big one. Harvey Haddix, you got to feel bad for this guy. He pitched 12 perfect innings of baseball. No runs, no hits, no walks, no one reached on base by any way at all. Perfect 12 innings. And he not only lost his shutout, because the other guy was pitching a shutout, not only did he lose his no-hitter, perfect game, shutout, he even lost the game 1-0 in the 13th inning. What a rough, rough day that is. Isaiah 1937, San Francisco Bay's Golden Gate Bridge opens. Happy birthday, Golden Gate Bridge. Isaiah 1927, Ford Motor Co Company manufactures its 15 millionth, 15 millionth Model T automobile. Day prior, they started manufacturing the Model A. And after that, they stopped the Model T to the Model A. Got to improve, right? Mm -hmm. Isaiah 1923, first Le Mans Grand Prix. Uh, Endurance is run. Honestly, in 1911, a big day indeed. I thought it was 1912, but maybe it was 1911. Uh, the first ever Indianapolis 500 auto race is run. Now you know why they run it. Memorial Day Sunday. Memorial Day weekend on Sunday each and every year. Been doing it for over 100 years. Indy 500, way to go. Honestly, in 1896, Dow Jones begins an index of 12 industrial stocks. <laughs> Closed at 40.94. Wow. Happy birthday, Dow Jones Industrial Average. Also on his day in 1896, last Tsar of Russia, Tsar Nicholas II, is crowned. On his day in 1805, Lewis and Clark are the first to see the Rocky Mountains, although I bet you a lot of other people saw it before them. None were documented, though. And finally on his day in 1781, Bank of North America incorporates in Philadelphia. Oh, yeah. Happy birthday, Bank of North America. Uh-oh. Empty as the brain cells of an average Montreal Canadian fan, eh? Folks, you know what time it is, right? Damn right, Reverend Dr. B. It's time for some dinner. Time to make a face to head out so everybody take care of weight awesome night and day. Peace be the journey. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Don't drink a drive. My spirit drink. Or you might kill yourself or somebody else. And drinking or driving is dumber than being a Yankees fan. And what's dumber than that is rooting for douchebag cocksuckers like Eli. Hey, I'm as good as Tom Brady. <laughs> You're right, you schmuck. Manning, or men slapping women, or animal abuse, or racism, or people who on pets, or fake friends, or anybody. <laughs> Excuse me. That supports, defends, or is a member of the Westboro Baptist Church. Things like that are just plain stupid. And definitely deserve a big, fat G-F-Y. Folks, I'm out of here. I'll see you all tomorrow. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Back to work tomorrow. But it's better than being unemployed and broke. I'll take that to the bank. Ferris Bank. <laughs>